so hello my lovely people how you doing guys i hope you're doing fine and welcome back to the channel once more if you're new please make it a point to subscribe if you are subscribed continue watching so guys today we are going to be in the kitchen once more but i'm not in the kitchen right now i'm actually at a neighbor's compound as you can see from the background this is a very new place to you all if you've noticed so guys you can see right here this is pumpkin for starters if you didn't know what pumpkins look like uh in the garden this is how they grow this whole thing is just pumpkin guys and what you're seeing here is just the leaves so i don't know if there's any pumpkin that i'm going to see around let me just try to see or rather maybe along the way if i see any pumpkin um that is like already maturing i'm also going to show you but the main purpose of the video guys is to show you that one we eat the leaves as well we don't just eat the the, 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 the pumpkin itself but also the leaves and two how to cook it and right here is the leaves guys so i'm going to cut it and then go cook it <laughs> you don't want to know what is going to follow after that cooking guys so let's jump in already i've actually started cutting already so I'm going to pack it in my uh, polythene bag here, then go back with it home, guys. I'm trying my best to look for the pumpkin itself, but it looks like I'm failing to get it, guys. I really wanted to show you. Let me check around this side. By the way, if you didn't if you didn't know, the leaves are really rough, like very very rough. In that, it actually itches. <laughs> so guys, you can have a look. Here are the leaves. I have money to get. So. First of all, I told you earlier on that these leaves are really rough and so we cannot cook it like this. How I wish I could really make you feel this texture guys, but for those who have ever touched it, actually know what I'm talking about. Literally my hands are actually itching, you won't believe it because of mixing my hands <laughs> as I was cutting. So guys, what we do is we peel off this outer part like this. You just break a little bit at the end here and then pull it towards the... Uh, the wider part of the leaf like that so this is actually the rough thing on the leaf it goes off we don't cook that that is literally rubbish and also for the leaf inside you pinch just a bit of a little bit from inside here and then pull so you can notice how it plucks off just like that so that's all I'm going to be doing right now to get my vegetable here ready for cooking So guys, uh, first of all, I don't know if you watched, there was a video that I made sometime when I was cooking some vegetable in my language called bo. I pasted it. If you didn't, please go back and check because um, it's not far from how we cook this. Actually, if someone cooks this, the pumpkin leaves and cooks bo like in another plate, I mean served in another plate and served this one in another plate, it might be for someone who is not so so used to that test or or really really not to differentiate it may be very hard for you to differentiate that this is born this is pumpkin leaves guys because i could say they're cousins or rather even blood sisters i don't know <laughs> that's if you know what i'm talking about guys so there's not much difference between this and boar in other words because this you can cook it as pasted the same way like in fact in fact any way that you can cook boar you can also cook this i can tell you that in conclusion <laughs> So I think for this one, I'm going to do with eggs. Um, you guys, I think I've, 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 I've overcooked with um, peanut butter. So today I want to make a little difference and add in some eggs. So for those who have always told me, oh, I don't like peanut butter, today you're safe. Hmm? <laughs> I have some eggs here, guys, waiting to be mixed in this. So, oh, it's going to be a delicious one, guys. So guys, this is the what I'm going to use for cooking. You don't need much by the way. Ah, 
And this right here is used for softening. It's called Magadi. In English, it's called, is it rock salt or what? I don't know. Bicarbonate, in other words, guys. But there is a word they call it something salt. I'm not very sure. Please, if you know it, let me know in the comment section. Um, so I'm just going to add some onto the water that I'm going to use for cooking. It's going to be dissolving there. Alright, there we go. As I, I cut this into tiny pieces. So guys, meanwhile, um, did you know that even the flowers of this thing is eaten, like the flowers of pumpkins are eaten? Oh, have you ever tested? Please, if you have ever tested it, let me know how you guys cook it. And if you have never and you want to know how to cook it, please let me know. I can also show you that in another video, guys. So, how about you really let me know in the comment section. I think this one's skipped because it feels really hard. You know, you can tell from the texture, these ones are really soft. But the ones that have not been peeled off, ah, I think you can notice, it feels hard. Like, the leaves turns really hard, so I could notice that. So this thing gets soft, like, gets really, really, really soft. Um, you might not need to worry so much about it, um, maybe not getting ready or what, because when it's ready, it's really, really soft. So guys, I think you understand when I tell you that this is my favorite charcoal stove. <laughs> this is what I mean, guys. Just look. Just cutting this vegetable, but see how hot it is. Oh my god. You can see how I put this one on bench. <laughs> the new one, it's here not doing anything. But that old one is still my best. Forever, forever. So otherwise, I'm done cutting. You can see. I'm just going to add it on fire so guys it's already boiling as you can see and I told you uh, it's a soft vegetable so it does not really take long on fire but let's give it some few minutes here before we carry it off and do the frying. So guys, like I told you, it does not take long. It's actually ready. You can have a look. And it is that time we are going to fry. <laughs> so I'm going to fry using that other saucepan there. And then just for clarity, I'm going to add in this. Um, it's not really how people do it here, but I love green pepper in my sauce. So I'm going to add in. Plus, I think you can also notice I added some garlic here. This is just for my own taste. <laughs> there we are. Just salt. This is to fasten the softening of the tomatoes. So I'm adding very little. Remember, I added salt already in the eggs, so I add a very little. guys we don't do the soup and that is the reason I added very, very little soup at the beginning because I knew at the end of it all I'm going to drain it but if you're going to cook with peanut butter of course you're going to need the soup plus um, you'll add uh, okra into it there is that leafy okra This alone can be eaten like that. If you're a person who does not eat eggs, you just leave it like this and you don't add the eggs. But if you like eggs like I do, 
Then here we go. <laughs> Guys, let add, let's add the egg. Ooh. Can you imagine this mixture? Oh my goodness. So tasty, guys. The eggs can easily stick on the pan, so it needs a uh, kind of a constant stirring, I can say. And at this point, if you can regulate your if it's too hot, if your fire is too hot, you need to regulate and remove out some charcoal pieces out of the stove. But if it's reduced like mine, then you just leave it at that. To avoid the sticking, guys, I'm going to keep mixing it like that. Stirring it, I mean. Oh, the aroma is too much, guys. <laughs> You know what? I won't even wait before I make the posho because this is best served with, for me, posho. I won't even wait for the posho, guys. I really want to test it. I can't wait. <laughs> Just have a look at this. Honestly, I am not going to wait for the posho. Let me first test some. <laughs> before I continue, otherwise... My mouth is watering already. Can't see the ball because of the eggs. <laughs> mm. <laughs> very hot, very tasty. Oh, goodness. Why don't you try this already? What are you waiting for? Do you have pumpkin leaves? Please try it, guys. Try it.